Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mark Lozano, chairman of the NCSA. Thank you, everybody. Please be seated. Honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to the 51st celebration of the Candy Hall of Fame. First, congratulations to the inductees in front of me. Your dedication to our industry is exemplary, and we're honored to recognize you this weekend. Thank you to the returning Candy Hall of Fame members who are here to help to toast the class of 2022, and you proudly represent the enduring legacy of the Candy Hall of Fame. This event marks my end of my term as chairman, and I want to thank the membership for the opportunity to help guide the association through what has turned out to be some of the most unusual times. With a board as committed as any I've ever worked with, I've, we have laid the groundwork for some exciting and impactful programs that will build on the legacy of the association and the Candy Hall of Fame well into the future. It has truly been my honor and a privilege to serve the NCSA. Now, let's begin the truly mem memorable program planned for this evening as we recognize the past and celebrate the people who make the confectionery industry great. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, NCSA President and CEO Joe Melville and NCSA Vice President Shelley Clary. I was getting nervous you weren't going to show up, to be honest. Uh, wow, this has been a great weekend, everybody. Um, and we haven't even got to the best part, you know? Um, but before we start, uh, Brent, can you give us an update on the Tennessee game for uh, Jennifer when you get a chance? Um, oh, good, thanks. Okay, so we can proceed. Um, uh, so, so you know it's, a crazy, uh, it, it's crazy every year coming to this uh, back here. Uh, I'm amazed by what I learn about the incredible people in our industry. It definitely makes me reflect on how I can do more and be better. It also calls out how many, how many things I will never be able to do, like twirl a fire baton, do 600 episodes on QVC, run 40 marathons, get a purple heart and become a drill sergeant. It's definitely not me. But again, this is what makes the candy industry so awesome, the people. But seriously, Shelley, we have professors and people building music studios in their basement while saving the global cocoa market. Others are feeding starving people at the local food banks while working to make a difference in the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Absolutely incredible. These are just the, some of the amazing accomplishments of the people in this great industry that we are honoring tonight. I want to also say thank you to all the sponsors for the 500 pound candy bag that we all got this year. <laughs> um, we really appreciate it. And don't worry, next year we'll make the bag bigger and more sponsorship opportunities will be available. <laughs> we'll also look for the sponsors to cover the additional size bags. Um, we're gonna pass it over to Shirley Shelley. Here she is. Hmm. Those baggage fees are for real, Joe. We need to work on that. The generosity of our sponsors is once again over the top and we are truly grateful. But as exciting as our bags full of goodies are, the most important thing happening this weekend is the induction of these 12 industry leaders. It marks what is perhaps the most important of our four pillars, recognition, and we are proud to celebrate the accomplishments of each of you. There is no doubt that this is the people that make our industry great. The NCSA has a mission through our pillars of fellowship, education, mentoring, and recognition, and supporting individuals as they move along their career path. And to that end, we are happy to be hosting so many young industry leaders here tonight. We want to welcome William Felder, Rebecca Kuhn, and Serena Bitzer, as well as many other members of the past NCA future leadership classes. 
We are proud to sponsor this program and encourage you to take time to meet these people and learn more about them. It's obvious that the future of this industry is in good hands. Now we are honored to have Thomas Jefferson High School's Junior ROTC Air Force Color Guard, led by Major Darren W. Spencer, retired. Please stand for the national anthem and the presentation of the national and state colors. <laughs> <laughs> 